All right. Well, I think it was on our first Thanksgiving together. We did the whole wishbone thing and everything, and uh, she won, of course. She wouldn't tell me what her wish was, and it's been about seven years now, and she still hasn't told me what her wish was. She told me that uh, she would tell me what her wish was when it came true. So, seeing as it's been this long, I'm hoping that she'll probably tell me today. That's what uh, I was thinking about last night. I was, I was writing my vows down. I've been thinking about my vows for a lot of months now. Our engagement's been like almost a year, or a little over a year. So I've been thinking about my vows for a while, but finally wrote them all down last night. And I was kind of thinking about, we've been planning and focusing on every single detail and what we're gonna do, what we're gonna wear, what's gonna be there, all the crafts. And I think we, uh, focusing on all those little details, you almost forget to focus on each other. And so I was thinking about that a lot last night when I was writing my vows, how I can't wait to once we get up there and say I do, and we get to walk down the aisle, we can just focus on each other for the rest of the day and uh, for the rest of our lives. <laughs> it's been almost seven years since we broke that wishbone and you won. Still don't know what your wish was. All I can hope that is today would be your wish come true. And if uh, I would have got the long side of the wishbone, I know that this would have been my wish too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, you can't cry already. I know, I have been. You look very beautiful. You look great. <laughs> I've been waiting for almost seven years to be standing here in this spot, looking into your beautiful face, saying these words to you. I apologize for taking this long to get us to this place. <laughs> As you know, I have always been that stubborn, independent girl who never really pictured herself getting married until one week after we started dating. That's right. Actually, one week. You're so beautiful. But more importantly, you're such a beautiful person. Now I know relationships are not perfect through fairies and pixie dust, but through constant love, selflessness, and open communication, which you have shown me every day. This might not be my place to say this because I never had the opportunity to meet her, but I've heard stories about your mother and I've seen and heard the way that she's affected other people in such a positive way. And at the same time, I've also seen the impact that you've had on so many others and the way you affect other people. And I know that your mom is looking down on you right now and she's so very proud of you. And I know that there must be a piece of her that lives inside of you. And I'm so very lucky that you have chosen me your husband. Now I love you, I love your entire family, I love your crazy friends. I can't wait to grow physically, emotionally, and spiritually with you in our journey of marriage. I love you, I love you, I love you. Get ready for the time of your life as we grow old together. I love you. Feels each other ass all day. I love you. I love you.
Now for the first time I present to you Kevin and Katie Hogan. <laughs> Just to the idea that Katie was interested in Kevin, and I heard that he was a rapper. <laughs> and I was there and I watched him rap. <laughs> and I still thought for a minute, what is my daughter getting herself into? <laughs> Kevin really is a wonderful human being. But most importantly, what I like about Kevin is that he has shown me how much he really loves Katie. And uh, that really means a lot to me. I want you to know, Katie, from the bottom of my heart, how much I do truly love you. And I'm so proud of you. And I <laughs> wish the very best for Katie and Kevin that they might have long lasting love for a very long time. Cheers. When you two talk about each other, when you stand around each other, you just glow. Set the world on fire. 